yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have, hey, yo, man, look, we got Kendrick Lamar with a big announcement, man. We got, look, 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 we got, we got to tell you about that, man. That's going to be crazy, all right? Uh, we got um, uh, the, the the person that um, murked uh, YBC Duel, man. We're going to tell you a little bit about the suspect, man. It's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, Soldier Boy going live, man. Uh, Cardi B with some huge news, man. Offset on uh, Rich Homie, man. And um, uh, Rich Homie Quan, some, uh, uh, some, um, I don't want to say updates, but some information on Rich Homie Quan, man, from uh, his uh, his, um, his uh, BM, his girlfriend, and his pops. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button and feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your test. So go on and give it a tap. And the subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. You check this out, man. They decided to put a football game, the biggest football game of the year, right? February 9th. The biggest football game of the year. They decided to put it at the front and the back of a Kendrick Lamar concert. You understand what I'm saying? He'll be performing at the halfway mark. Take, look, take a listen to what uh, Kendrick's message was. Hopefully it'll play. Take a listen. There you go. Give me one more. Ah! Come on. Two more. Just like that. You ready? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what the deal, everybody? Oh, man? Now we can get to it for real. Come on, you gotta, you gotta make sure you catch it with the hands open like that. We running real routes. You gonna be messing up. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, man, that's gonna be something else, man. Look, look, think about it. Think about it for a second, right? Not like us being, and and and, and Jay Z had something to say about this. Not like us being performed during one of the biggest nights of television, man. All of America will be chanting A minor simultaneously? Oh my gosh, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, that performance might cause someone to look into human trafficking in, the, in America. Listen, listen. That man said, this is what the man said. This is what he said. He said, you have one opportunity to win a championship. Then he goes like this. He goes, no round twos. What do you think he meant by that? No round twos. Hey, look, remember when Drake and J. Cole in First Person Shooter said, big as the Super Bowl, right? That's what they said they was. Drake and J. Cole, they was like, big as the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Numero uno, numero uno, or something like that. Whatever, I don't know, I don't know, I don't remember so. Look, 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 look. Never mind all that. Um, actually, Jay-Z has something to say about that. What did Jay-Z say? I just had it right here. Hold on, hold on for a second. I'm about to get it to you. Jay-Z, um, I guess he 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 had like the selection process for for um the NFL, okay? And he explained why he he decided to go with Kendrick. All right. He said Kendrick Lamar is a true once in a uh generation artist and performer. His deep love for hip hop and culture informs his artistic vision. We know Kendrick is an artist. He said he has an unparalleled ability to define and influence culture globally. We know that for a fact because the whole planet was was singing not like us. It was crazy. It was even at the soccer games. And if you know, soccer is like the biggest sport on the planet. Okay. Uh, he uh, Jay said um, he has an unparalleled ability to find and influence culture globally. Kendrick's work transcends music, and his impact will be felt for years to come. I know one person that's definitely going to be feeling feeling the impact from uh, what, what Kendrick had dropped, man. You know what I'm saying? That, look, I'm about to go listen to... You know, I listen to Euphoria almost like every single day. <laughs> like almost every day I listen to Euphoria. That joint got me... You know what I mean? That and 616. I just can't stop listening to those two. Anyway, um, uh, listen, man. Some information has come out concerning a person that murked that artist, YBC Duel. Remember that, that, that Philly rapper? And he uh, was grave... He was digging the grave of one of his ops and then he got murked okay um and, and and remember he did a song with two other artists one got killed in um june the other one got killed in july and then the ybc duel got killed in august okay um we found they found a person that murdered ybc duel okay here's what we know about him the person charged with murdering ybc duel is a 16 year old child okay i don't care what you what you think 16 year old as far as i understand that's a child okay the person charged with murder in YBC Duel is a 16-year-old child named Aiden Waters, okay? And here's the crazy thing about Aiden Waters. Bro reportedly was featured on the cover of an ESPN magazine back in 2015, okay? Hopefully Source got the picture up, right? This child was featured at the age of seven as being a national champion in the 1500 meter. Ain't that sad, man? 
look, 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 look. Bro could have been working towards being an Olympian, and instead, <laughs> he's a shooter, he's a track star. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Look, I look, look, I looked in the comments, right? One person said, this is what one person said, from the 1500 meters to a nine millimeter. See, you see how see how crazy that is, man. So, number one, YBC Duel proudly boast because I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, we got we got jokes on the murder. YBC Duel proudly boasted about murdering people. He proudly boasted about it, and he also boasted about terrorizing the neighborhood. He walked around and said, "You see this? You see this around here? This is a ghost town. You know why it's a ghost town? Because he said we, with his lips, he said it, with his face, he said we are holding this whole community hostage. We're a terror to the. He said it. We're a terror to the community. A true demon, right? Um." He, look, 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 look. he proudly boasted about murdering people and a lot of people don't give a cuss about a proud self-confessed murderer being removed from the planet okay i certainly don't have no you know what i'm saying uh that's number one b right we're failing our youth real talk though we're like to be completely um serious and 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 frank we're failing our youth if this child 16 years old had the possibility of being an olympian uh, an olympic athlete right and having a positive influence on this culture like the other 16 year old that was in the um, olympics i don't remember the guy's name you like you don't even remember the name hey look man i don't remember everything man you know what i'm saying look do you remember his name he look he could have been an Olymp uh, people that are deep in the olympics they know the person's name i forgot the dude's name i gotta look it up but i ain't gonna do it now Okay, uh, but we're failing our youth though, man. Okay, he had the possibility of being an Olympic athlete, having a positive influence on his culture. He turns into a villain, uh, a, a murderer, because of, you know, I, I largely blame like his environment and all this other foolishness, man. We failed, okay? We have failed. A lot of us adults, I believe, have to be far more vocal about the actions of our youth. We gotta, um, and even the actions of the people, I'm talking like all around us. All of us have to express a disdain for murder, a disdain for drug dealing, a disdain for um, terrorizing the communities. And we gotta be smart about how we present it. And if we present it in a smart manner, we might could influence a lot of the people that are, like think about all the murders you can um, thwart all the lives you could save from going into prison just by opening your mouth and saying some vocalizing that you know you got a problem with it men in particular man real talk men in particular we got to be present in the lives of the young men around us man we got we got to speak life in, into their lives into their minds but we got to have life first though okay we got to speak to them about acting hyper emotionally and getting murderously upset every time some something happens that they don't like if you're a man right and you're willing to get violent because you don't like something or you, or you or you got mad use a hyper emotional itch you know what i'm saying a man a hyper emotional man that that probably needs some therapy okay a man let me just throw this out here a man with no self-control is a weak man and a liability to you women and to your children i said it like loud and proud and i say it wherever i go like when i talk to people in person because you know I, I deal with a lot of people in person right i say the same things in person if you met me and you spoke with me I don't say anything different than what I say on this channel. You follow what I'm saying? It just so happens that it gets out to a lot of people here, but I speak to hundreds of people on a daily basis, okay? Um, uh, well, probably not hundreds, but dozens, right? I mean, I got classes of 30 people in a room and I say this stuff out loud. If you're a man with no self-control, you're a weak man, you're a liability to women, you're a liability to your family and you're a liability to your children, okay? A woman shouldn't even run the risk of procreating with a man that shows a pattern of no self-control, okay? A man with no self-control probably can't even select a good woman anyway. His filtering process is probably damaged because he got no self-control. You follow what I'm saying, man? If you, listen, if, if, as a woman, if you bear offspring from a man with no self-control, his lack of self-control will put you and your budding family at risk every time, okay? Let me be clear, all right? And, and you know, I, I should run for president, but I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? I should run for president. Let me be clear, right? A man with a pattern, a pattern, that means it happens almost every day, right? Or every other day. A man with a pattern of no self-control is a liability no self-control with violence no self-control with sex no self-control with his words and actions okay he, he he shows a pattern of impatience okay he's a danger and you're better off by yourself than with a dog that'll leave you with fleas you get what i'm saying real talk man 
And those of y'all that are angry at what I'm saying, then you probably you probably fit the bill for a ninja that got no self control. Real talk. You know what I mean? There's a lot. There's a lot of dudes out there like that. Effeminate dudes. I call them effeminate because the hyper emotional men that get mad and violent and aggressive and stuff like that. Hyper hyper emotional. Hyper emotional effeminate men. Okay. I said it. So what? Okay. Um, look, you, you mad and probably flipping a table right now. Well, then you, you know what I'm saying? You proving my point. Listen, man, let me show you why Africans just keep on giving. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> look, look, these people are so funny to me. They, they are hilarious. I love this. Let me show you this video right now that you're probably going to duplicate tomorrow when you go to school at work. Take a look. If I snap my fingers, you forget that you ever gave me. I was never gay. Exactly. Wait, no, stop. Yes. No, stop. You can't. I was never gay. Okay. No, I was never gay. Sure. You can't just state something, then snap your fingers, and then be like, yeah, like I was never gay. You say so. Hey, yo, that snap, look, that snap worked on some of y'all. <laughs> some of y'all, like, well, I mean, I wasn't never gay. <laughs> some of you don't keep on giving, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, you needed that smile, okay? Because a lot of y'all, y'all don't be smiling. Oh, your, your whole life is just misery, misery, misery. That's why you need a channel like this, man. You need something to put a smile on your face. You know what I mean? And yo, if you crack a smile, hit us with a like. We do appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? It does, it does, it does, it does help us out. Uh, oh, 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 Soldier Boy got a message for someone that showed up on his live. I guess people that showed up on his live throwing shots at the man. The man just be trying to go live. Take a listen to um, what, what Soldier had to say to these people. I don't know, real the live, man. Y'all broke. Go get a fucking life. Why y'all watching me? <laughs> Why you in my live right now? You ain't got nothing better to do. Go get a fucking life, man. Y'all gonna end up broken in jail, just like Blueface. Fuck you talking about? Y'all yeah, think life a game, life all jokes and life and fuck. Sweet, this shit ain't sweet. Fuck you talking about? I'm still in this shit 17 years later, man. You broke. This ain't even last five years in this shit. I've been in this shit going on 20 years. I've been in this shit 17 years, 18 years. You broke. This ain't make it five years. This ain't make it two years. You ain't make it. Ain't make it. All you fell off. All you went broke. All you went out sad. All you made the wrong decision. All you. Mm -hmm. I look. I hope that man never go broke because he always got something to say about broke people. Look, folks be joking on bro about his last, like when he had his last hit. But look, he still, look, he still hitting shows, making paper. He be showing us receipts and stuff like that about how much money he makes. So you know what I mean? Like I ain't seen, I ain't never seen a check with a million dollars for me. But uh, if you if you feel the inclination to donate a million dollars, I ain't gonna resist. <laughs> you like yo, the super things only go up to five hundred. Okay. Uh, oh, look, 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 look. never mind all that. Listen, man. Um, I don't get why everybody keeps saying Soldier Boy is broke, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like yo, maybe got to do with the bankruptcy filings. Yeah, but didn't Trump file for bankruptcy multiple times? That man ain't broke. I last time I looked it up, he I think that man's still a billionaire. Isn't he a billionaire? I'm about to look it up, but I don't, I'm not in a look up mood right now. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't look up the Olympian. I ain't gonna look up how much Trump. Is. Let, look it up for me, man. If you don't, if you don't mind, man. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I got, I got to take care of something. Listen, listen. Um, congratulations to Cardi B. All right? She just gave birth to a third child, man. Cardi B had a baby girl, and my understand, uh, uh, it was with um, Offset's baby, right? Uh, my understanding is that the labor was induced. <laughs> you like, yo, ain't that an invasion of privacy? Hey, look, man. She told us she was pregnant. And um, it's been it's she like she must have announced that she had the baby, man. What do you want? You know what I'm saying? Um, that was expected. Anyway, congrats to Cardi. Congrats to Offset. You like so is the divorce off? Hey, look, why are you always asking all these other questions, man? I'm talking about congrats. You talking about divorce? You know what I'm saying? She just had a baby, man. Why are you talking about all this negative stuff, man? You always thinking negative. See, that's what I'm saying. You need to be more positive, man. Dag, yo, be more positive, man. Gosh, gonna make me flip a table over here. And sh look, I'm about to display all kinds of no self control. <laughs> You're like, well, then you go be an itch then. Okay, so I'm not going to show no self-control. Listen, listen. Uh, sp speaking of Offset, uh, Offset was asked about his thoughts concerning um, Rich Homie Quan's passing. And this is what he had to say. Take a listen. You know, we lost a very cherished member of the hip-hop community this um, today. Uh, Rich Homie Quan, rest in peace. Do you have anything you want to say to his family at all? Um, I wish you guys uh, some type of prosperity, some type of uh, overcoming of it. Um, Shout out to Rich Homie, man. That's a day one. That's a day one artist right there. That we all came up together in the same lab, in the same kitchen, in the same. You know what I mean? Trying to trying to make it happen, man. That's a that's a tragedy. 
thing to hip hop, man. Shout out to uh, Rich Homie Kwan, man. RIP to you and bless your family. Hey, yo, man, I felt what, you know, I felt what he said. That, that's, that's, yeah, I mean, look, he, he's like, yo, man, we all came up together. And, um, it's, you know, unfortunately, man, that's just kind of, that's kind of, you know, sometimes it could be that way, man. You know what I mean? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, like, as time continues to progress, I'm starting to really wonder about, you know, Rich Homie Kwan's death. And um, I don't know. We're waiting on the reports and stuff like that. But I don't really know how I feel about it, man. And I don't really want to go into too much, too much about what I'm thinking. But, I mean, I just feel some kind of way about it. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, look, let's go to my shout outs, man. Shout out to L Alert P. L L all right? Alert P. Lurt P is continuing the wave for you, for your boy, man. My man hit us with 20 bucks, man. 20 smackaroos, man. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, man, thanks. He said, I've been watching you since day one, so I should show some love, man. Keep doing what you're doing. That goes for you, too. So, hey, yo, man, um, Lurt P, man, once again, man, once again, man. You know what I'm saying? We want to throw the appreciation for um, y'all, put, you know, putting putting your money, like, onto the platform like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Showing us the support monetarily, man. That really means a lot to us, man, and, and it's huge, man. Man, and we really we really thank you for that you know what i'm saying y'all be blowing my mind every time you do that man like i'll be like i'll be throwing a million emojis with the head explosion man because that's how i be feeling when i i be i cannot believe it man you know what i'm saying and um it, that would be making me want to cry <laughs> all right, all right let, let, let me be good let me be good let me control myself listen man burt rainey burt rainey thinks i think this is robert rainey i feel like it's robert rainey right uh <laughs> you like what gave it away hey 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 okay he said hey yo celeb he said um I, he said, I always post comments as I see you pop up, not after, but today's edition. He said, I got to come back um, spitting that game about life and Kwando uh, for 15 minutes. The super chat, man, he said, it goes to show the value of your content, monetary value, but also in so many other ways. Maybe that's why people be riding with the channel so hard. Love today's edition. This is from yesterday's video. And he said, give you your flowers for it now, bro. Yo, man, I appreciate that, man. The flowers mean a lot. And I'm saying like, y'all, when y'all leave messages like that, to me, that's like, that's a, to me, that has the same type of value as somebody like, ah, you know what? I don't got the words right now, but here, let me drop 20 on you. You know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate that, Robert Rainey. That really does mean a lot. It means a lot when y'all y'all show up in the comments and y'all say stuff and y'all um, and y'all provide y'all thoughts. Because it ain't just me talking, it's y'all too. You know what I'm saying? Yellow Flowers said, um, as soon as I heard of, of Rich Homie Kwan's passing, my first thought is somebody took that man out. I believe strongly somebody gave that man something that was tainted. That comment got... 32 likes um i made it 33 okay uh somebody said i have every thought you just said immediately and then that comment got three more likes so um that's how a lot of people are feeling about this okay and the fact that the man had to testify in a trial i don't know man i don't know okay uh one lee said yo uh, just to let you know you encourage to be more productive you encourage to be more productive so thank you bro um, I think one Lee is saying that we encourage them to be more productive, which if that is the case, that is insane. That's that's huge, man. That's like that's what I want. And that's what I always want. Wanted from uh, having a platform, being able to just make the world better than how I found it. You know what I mean? Trying to make people better than how I found them. You know what I'm saying? So I pray I pray to God that all of y'all be better humans after y'all leave the channel. Uh, Casey said, your drugs destroyed my family. Nine kids scattered into DSS custody. Never seen one of my brothers till this day. Never got a chance to ask her why. The help they have now, they didn't have then. This hit me hard, Celeb. Nine lives destroyed forever because the drugs was more important or too hard to kick. Yo, man, see, that's what I'm talking. That's what, that's what we, yesterday's video, we were talking about that, man. How drugs destroy communities and how it destroys it in so many ways. Stay away from the drug dealers. I'm going to just say that out loud. If you're dealing drugs, stop. You know what I mean? Like, real talk, stop. If you want, you say, yo, man, don't tell me what to do. I'm going to continue to deal drugs. Then you're going to continue to kill the people in your community. If that's your aim, that's what's going to happen. And if that's not your aim, that's what's going to happen. Like, it just is what it is. Well, it's not my fault. They do. They're the ones that came and got the drugs. Yeah, but you're making it easy. Some people don't need it that easy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, don't try to come up with, oh, well, you know, what about the government? They feel putting drugs in a community. Yeah, but I ain't taking it. They put it in the community. I'm not taking it. You know why? Because I'm stronger than that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be a drug dealer. I'm too strong for that. Okay? So I'm, I'm going to go about it the hard way. I'm not going to deal drugs. Now, some people, they, they get hooked on drugs. They're addicts. You know what I'm saying? So if they're addicts and they want to break it, don't make it difficult by trying to serve it to them. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. We're trying to build the communities, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
these people, man, like, and that's why I say it all falls back to greed, man, trying to make the maximum amount of money. But a lot of people, they want to try to, you know, try to, oh, but look over there, though. Look over there behind the curtain. Look at what's going on. Nah, man, we talking about you on stage that's dealing, bro. Stop. You know what I'm saying? You're destroying everybody and everything around you, man. Making this world worse than it is, man. That's why God got to incinerate this joint. Anyway, Red um, MCN said, yo, she said, Sa pase. <laughs> she says, um, she said, uh, happy Saturday. I'm so proud of how much you've grown. Oh, we appreciate that. She said, my husband has listened to you for years. Yo, shout out to your husband, Red. You know what I'm saying? And, and you, you, you're something else too, because you came on the platform and then let us know that your husband is checking it out, man. That's what's up. She said, uh, my husband has listened to you for years. It's amazing to see you blow up. Um, we got to get you on camera someday. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. We appreciate you, Red. You know what I'm saying? Uh, much love to you, man. And much love to the, um, to the Red that shows up. First comment, second comment every single day. I got to make sure I screenshot your, 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 your joint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, let's get right back to it. Wrap this bad boy up, man. Um, shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all, and I, I thank y'all for the love y'all show. Listen, man, we told you yesterday, right? Um, oh, and finally. Yeah, we do need that button just to hit, and finally. Uh, we told you yesterday that Rich Homie Kwan's um, pops is currently experiencing a lot of grief at the loss of his son. And for some people, expressing one's emotions is therapeutic, okay? And and um and and not to pivot to myself, but this is therapeutic for me too. So thank y'all for listening, okay? But um, Rich Homie Kwan's father expressing his emotions is is highly therapeutic. His father has been expressing his grief on social media. He has now posted another message concerning the loss of the ATL legend. He posted this. He said, "quote He said, laying here, I can't sleep." And so of course he he puts this out because he can't sleep and i can i can only imagine he said quick story he said last week kwan called me and i answered and he said what's wrong i said nothing just listen to a song made me think about meat he said um as m-e-t-e he said pops i got a show in miami this weekend come and go with me you need a mental break I booked my flight, booked us a nice mansion to stay in, not knowing that my son wouldn't be here to go with me. He goes, moral of the story, tomorrow is not promised. Enjoy life and make memories with your loved ones. Close quote. That's real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's heavy, man. You know what I mean? Um, and look, man, King Solomon taught us that too, man, in Ecclesiastes, man. Enjoy what you have on the earth under the sun. Because when you pass, like... You will no longer have any of it. Even the people we know now, they're going to be vastly different after death. Okay. They're going to be permanently locked in perfection <laughs> or they're going to be permanently locked in corruption. Okay. <laughs> you're going to be a, you're going to be a spirit feeling unclothed, awaiting the resurrection of your body. You, you follow what I'm saying, man? A lot. Of, and here's the thing, you know, not to even go here, but it's Sunday. You ain't go to church. Listen, a lot of people consider the benefits, right? Don't, they don't consider the benefits of having a body. You don't, you don't like, I'm talking about a body, like a, a physical form. Okay. We take it for granted. You know what I mean? It's all, you know, you, it's all, all you've been, you consider the fact that you could have been anything. You could have been a shark. You could have been an ant. You know what I mean? You could have been a plant. You're a person. Okay. Consider the fact that evil spirits are constantly seeking possession of a body. Spirits want these things that we have. Okay. We are all spirits wrapped in bodies. Even evil spirits want that. And they violate by trying to take it by force. The greatest of all creation is this human form, this being a human, uh, having a body, according to scripture. You know what I'm saying? Being made of matter, interacting with matter, having senses, the sense of smell, the sense of taste. Demons most likely watch us with envy and hatred, wondering and, 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 and craving what it's like with envy. They're probably looking at us with envy, wanting, wondering what it's like to be able to smell, to be able to feel, to be able to have dopamine hits when we eat food. You know what I mean? When we, when we taste, it's, it's a highlight of creation. That's why God is like, that's probably why God is like, you know what? And then I'm going to become one of them too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, uh, although to me, I think becoming a human became a limitation for him. But that's besides the point. Listen, um, it's a highlight of creation. That's why death is so horrific, man. You know what I mean? And and that's probably why there is a hope of a future resurrection. You know what I'm saying? Look, pardon me. I'm on my spiritual edge right now. Okay? You're welcome. 
Listen, rich homie Quan's girlfriend and the mother of his children has also posted a message for those that are interested. This is what she said. She said, quote, she said, this pain is unbearable. She said, the love you all have shown is an uh, overflow. I truly appreciate everyone who's reached out. I'm traumatized from a moment that'll forever be in my head. That's probably the moment of that 911 call, right? She said, I have nothing to prove because my love for my other half has always shown I had nothing to hide. I'm mad that she had to say that. She said, please respect me and the family at this time. Our house is no longer a home. I'm completely heartbroken, 15 years gone. I'll never be the same. This is a complete nightmare. We could never let go, but you didn't have to leave me like this. Hashtag numb. Yes, unfortunately, this is part of the grief that she has to experience. Okay, the horrible stuff, man. Prayers up for her. 15 years is a long time to build with somebody. And um, it's painful when the building falls. Okay. But I mean, there's clearly substance, man. At least enough substance for 15 years to be invested. That's a, that's a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, the autopsy report has not been released yet. So we only have unofficial reports about his passing. So all this information discussed um concerning how he's died is all speculative okay some people that have you know sent messages to each other and stuff like that and then we get access to some of the, the text messages and stuff we see stuff that talks about what it talks about but you know it's all speculative until you know it's official okay um but we're gonna leave you with one final message that uh rich homie kwan one of the final messages that he had left for his viewers take a listen uh, yeah man crazy with the trees man you know don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, man. Man, my finger be yellow because I be smoking, bro. I smoke, man. I don't know why I do it. Like, well, but if I don't get my nail did, it don't turn that color. Stay off my feet, man. man. The best weed strand I had. It's been a couple of them, but at the time, with Khalifa, that, uh, Khalifa, 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 Khalifa Kush, KK, that was smoking. But I feel like my weed is strongest like right now. Real no better. If I got a strong weed, like, how about thugger? How about a less free thugger, man? Hello, y'all. Don't come in here spamming, man. Here we all know. I see it every time. Free thugger, free lucha, free anybody locked up. Don't come on my live with that, though, man. Please. I'm in a good spirit today. And we're going to keep it that way. You feel me? I'm ready to see you and look at some movies, bro. We working on some shit now. Be in the mood. But I don't want to be like no. I want. I want to be riding like the uh, Denzel Road. Like, I don't want to be no sh road. But I can change the way I talk. I don't have to talk like I'm from the hood. I can switch it up at times. You know, it really depends. It, re it really depends. You know, my vernacular scratches beyond. <laughs> That's what T.I. said. That's real talk, man. Yo, yo, stay away from. Um, stay away from drugs. And um, stay away from drug dealers, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stay away from drug dealers. Get away from them. Get away from them. Because um, when they fall, um, if you're if you're with them, when they fall, you're gonna fall. You know what I mean? It, either they're gonna make you fall, or when they fall, they're gonna take you with them. A lot of times. So just stay away from them all together, man. You know what I mean? They're, they're only weakening our society. Drug dealers are weakening our society. Addictions weaken our society. Being addicted to drugs, it weakens our society. It weakens the society around you, starting from your family. It weakens your family structure, and then it works its way out. It works its way out. That circle continues to, to grow, and it weakens all the, the surrounding people. You know what I mean? Next to you. It weakens your thought process. It weakens your ability to have self-control. Why do you think drugs is usually involved in all the sexual activity that takes place? Okay? Because it weakens your, your inhibitions even. You know what I'm saying? All substances do, man. You know what I'm saying? Stay away from drugs, man. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to su subscribe, man. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for Celeb News.